Yo, what is good YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. In this video, I will be presenting to you guys the top five best arms in bodybuilding today. In my personal opinion, of course. Now, I've got numerous requests to do videos like this, but I honestly believe a video like this is largely subjective and I'm expecting the opinions to vary. Now, I'm pretty sure the popularity from the best body parts came from Tominator series where he did a top 10. A lot, a lot of views on all of those videos. And if you guys will see a longer video, maybe top 10 instead of a top five. Also, if you guys would like to see more body parts, let me know in the comment section below. But for the sake of this video, we are going to be using guys from the 2021 Mr. Olympia. And honestly, I don't think there are too many guys that weren't on this stage that have the best arms in bodybuilding. One guy comes to mind, but if you guys can think about anyone that wasn't at the 2021 Mr. Olympia, that has some of the best arms in open bodybuilding, leave it in the comment section below. Now, two honorable mentions that didn't make my top five are going to be Hassan Mustafa as well as Akeem Williams. For this top five list, I did more than just compare the front double and the back double. I also looked at the most muscular as well as the side chest and the side tricep. Now, Hassan honestly doesn't execute a lot of these poses in the best manner, so it's hard to see his arms. And Akeem Williams doesn't have the best tricep from a lot of angles. But as you guys can see, Hassan and Akeem both have incredible arms, but just not the best from every angle. And also at Hassan's most recent showing where he actually came in shape, his arms weren't as big as they usually are. So Hassan is a bit off here, which may give him a little bit more arm size. But both of these guys definitely have two of the most incredible set of arms in the IFBB. And who knows, maybe some of you guys in the comment section will have Hassan or Akeem in your personal top five. Leave your guys top five best arms in the comment section below after this video. But with the fifth best arms in bodybuilding today, I decided to go with William Bonac, and I would have used the pictures from the Mr. Olympia, but as you guys know, that wasn't his best showing. But as you guys can see from the side tricep here, you guys just seen Akeem Williams' side tricep. William Bonac has a much better tricep, especially in his most muscular, very huge set of arms. Also, William may be the shortest guy on this list as well. And in my personal opinion, I think William Bonac's arms look a bit better in the side tricep and the most muscular rather than in the front double and the back double. Arms do look good in the front double, but in the back double, they don't look as big, but his biceps still have a great peak from behind. Maybe because the delts may be taking over a little bit in the back double, but I have William Bonek for the fifth best set of arms in the IFBB. Now with the fourth best set of arms, I'm going to go with Hunter Labrada. Now Hunter Labrada from the back could be posing this a lot better, which would make his arms look a bit better. But as you guys can see from this front double bicep, Hunter definitely has some big guns, man. And we don't really want to get into Hunter's place in it last year's Mr. Olympia. People are still talking about that to this day, but Hunter is one of the few bodybuilders we have today that actually has calves. But Hunter has one of the best side triceps in the IFBB currently. And outside of this peg tear, it probably would be the best, but Hunter is still able to be the fourth best bodybuilder in the world, even with the peg tear. That's incredible. And I really like this pose Hunter LeBron is hitting to the right. It's very reminiscent of a Dennis Wolf or Phil Heath. Now, with the third best arms currently in the IFBB, I have former Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry. And I honestly thought Brandon Curry would be first or second on this list initially when making it. But specifically, at this year's Mr. Olympia, he had an imbalance in between his arms, which you guys will see in the front double bicep. And I also didn't want to use the version from this past year's Arnold Classic because Brandon Curry was actually down quite a bit in size. But as you guys can see, if Brandon had his other arm up, he may potentially be a bit higher. But something else I noticed, and I'm pretty sure all of you guys know, the tricep actually makes up most of the arm. So instead of training your biceps so hard, bring those triceps up because the triceps probably take up 75% of the arm. But former Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry, one of his arms definitely was a little bit down this year. Now, with the second best arms in the IFBB currently is still the Beast Roly Winkler. Now, Roly didn't have his best showings last year. He wasn't really able to come into the best condition. And actually, there aren't a lot of pictures of Roly Winkler from this Mr. Olympia, probably out of respect for him. Because I definitely would have liked to show you guys a most muscular or a side chest or even a side tricep from the Beast. But even with Roly Winkler not being in his top form, still some of the best arms. Now, I'm pretty sure we all can agree if this was 2018, it would be no question. And Roly Winkler potentially has some of the best arms in the IFBB history. Not 100% sure on that, but Roly is definitely good enough to have the best arms in the history of bodybuilding. And who currently has the best arms in the IFBB? I will have to go with Nick Walker. You guys could arguably say that Roly Winkler has better arms, but I feel like Nick Walker had a better balance between his arms at this year's Mr. Olympia. 
Also, the way Nick Walker is posing his front double bicep, he's bringing his arms slightly in and makes his arms look even bigger. The tricep sweep and the triceps on Nick Walker are just incredible and biceps also very peaky from behind. I do think Nick Walker can improve this side tricep execution. I've seen him hit it better than this. But even in the most muscular, you guys can just see the size of the arms of Nick Walker. Not even just the biceps, the triceps, the forearms and the delts. So look at the 3D delts on Nick Walker. But I'm pretty sure it comes as no surprise that Nick Walker has the best arms on the 2021 Mr. Olympia stage and in bodybuilding today. But as always, let me know in the comment section below, who do you guys have as your top five best arms in bodybuilding? Also, would you guys like to see more body parts, a longer series, or maybe me make this a top 10 instead of a top five? If you haven't done so already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness, and I'm out.